Hi everybody, welcome. Thanks for coming back. I'm Dorothy. You've seen me before and if you haven't, subscribe to this channel and you will be notified when I have new videos up because I have videos up um, every single month for every single zodiac sign as well as these new moon and full moon forecasts and other educational pieces which I'm working on but they are on my channel so please subscribe and you'll be notified. Thank you and please share. That helps this channel get bigger. We just you know, the more people get to watch, the more people get to watch. That's cool. So, Tuesday, October 27th. Let's move on to the whole purpose of this video, not just an advertisement. It is the full moon in the sign of Taurus. It is at the third degree of Taurus, and it will be at 8.05 a.m. on the east coast of the United States. When we have a full moon, that is always, always about an awareness of some kind. If there is an awareness, the moon reflects that awareness back to us since it is an opposite from the sun. The energy of this is the first full moon after our eclipse from September 27th. This could be an important eclipse for you because lots of, a full moon for you because lots of times eclipses can actually not manifest for a whole month. I know there was an eclipse on September 13th, and personally for me, on October 13th, I had a big thing that happened that was well related, very well related to the eclipse on September 13th. Now, the living proof that things can take a whole month when it comes to eclipses, and even up to three months. So always keep this time period in mind, this approximately this date. So on October 27th, with this full moon at the third degree of Taurus, all right, we are being um, made aware of these types of things because the full moon in Taurus is about this sensual pleasures. It is also about um, perseverance, releasing stubbornness, the things that I value, the commitments that I have in my relationships. You can see our self worth. You can see this is kind of going back and forth between two categories. It's about relationships. All right. And because Venus, the moon in Taurus is like that, and so are oppositions. And it is also about the things that we value. So there are going to be these kind of two categories. And you can read this forecast at my, forecast at my website, nhastrologer.com. I'll put a link right in the corner here. You can go there. And there's also plenty of links in the text box below this video. The full moon in Taurus is making us aware of what we value. It can come in any, any way, any shape, any size, any form. What we value will be made aware of. It may be a challenge or we may get a lot of something that we truly value and we're just elated with emotion. Or we could be stressed because something is, is leaving our lives and we're not interested in that changing. The moon in Taurus is a fixed sign. It's also exalted in that sign, so that means that it loves to be in that sign. It wants things around it that make it feel beautiful. So that means we want to feel beautiful. We want to feel loved. We want to feel comfort. And these are things that we're being made aware of with the full moon. Are we comfortable? Are we getting the, the, the caring and the nurturing that we need? Are we feeling comfortable in the way that we want to feel comfortable and loved? Are we providing this for ourselves? Something that can also come up is an irritation around what we're doing for work. Because this is not a career area, but it's the area where if we use with that Taurus energy, which is also the second house of the astrology chart, and Venus, if we use this energy of, of this full moon in Taurus in a positive way, we're going to want to be using our skills and talents, the things that we love to earn a living or to make money. So this is also an opportunity for some people to finally take something that's a hobby and shift it and start taking those steps towards shifting it into something that is more of an income. Because truly, truly, if we all do what we love, we won't work a day in our lives. And I really mean that. I know that sounds corny because I love what I do and this is what I do. So that's why you guys should contact me for sessions too. <laughs> this is my life. This is all I focus on. So. What do you want to do with this? You want to release things that are holding you back and not following your passions and not following what you're really good at. You want to release those things, whatever they are. Sit down and think about your life. It's up to you. 
It truly is. Also, releasing stubbornness. You know, sometimes we just want to do things a certain way, and the universe has other plans for us. So if it's something that's truly part of who we are in our life path, then it's okay that we take steps towards it. But we don't always have to know what all those steps are. And if something isn't working out towards a goal, then release it, let it go, and say, you know, say your prayers, meditations, or, or intentions, however, to the universe and just say, yes, I know I have this long-term goal. This is who I am. This is my passion. Show me the correct way. I release my ideas around this and show me the correct way. That's something that you can write out and you can do for yourself. So, and that goes true for any of the things that you value and the things that you want in your life. Taurus is, is beautiful. The moon of Taurus is beautiful, beautiful energy. It is all about beauty and love and trusting in who you are and establishing really good, confident self-esteem. And we do that by following our heart and following the love, that Venus energy, that Taurus energy, following the love in our hearts. And so I want to leave you with that. Follow what your truth is. Follow your passions. And you know what they are because you're good at it. And you can't say I'm not good at anything because everybody's good at something. If you say that, you're denying yourself. So release that stubbornness that things aren't going to change. Or release the stubbornness around where you want change and it can't, and you don't see it happening. <clears throat> I easily release my idea of the outcome of this situation, fill in the blank. All right, go to my website, read this forecast, nhastrologer.com, there's a link. And um, seriously, with, with approach these things and what's going on right now with love and compassion and just be very down to earth about it. We don't have to be overly spiritual about this or overly metaphysical. You trust your path because the path is an easy one if we allow it to be. And that's the stubbornness of Taurus that we need to release with this full moon. Please come to my website. Please subscribe to this channel. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you. Blessed be. Namaste.